computerized accounting. Basically, in the old days, everybody used to record their stuff manually using pen and paper um, in great big cash books and ledger books, etc. These days, however, we've had much more advancements in technology, and so we might as well use this to our benefit. Specifically, software is used in order to make the tedious entries much more efficiently. Instead of having to record each individual transaction that is exactly the same as the previous one and then post them all across to the ledger accounts, this can be done using specialized accounting packages, leaving us with more time available to make management decisions. Spreadsheets can be used, such as Excel, for small businesses, um, particularly businesses that are just starting out and don't need to have very detailed records, and they also make an excellent budgeting tool. Small to medium-sized businesses will probably find packages such as QuickBooks or Pastel better and more suitable for their needs, as they are a little bit more detailed and will be able to track their customers and their inventory, etc. Larger businesses will generally want to have tailor-made packages that can do a lot more things besides. For processing the transactions, you need to remember that the basic concepts are still applied um, even when we are using computerized packages, and so therefore they must be understood. I realize it's very easy for you to think that because you can do everything on the computer, it means you don't need to understand the basic concepts. However, this is completely wrong. You actually need a better understanding of the basic concepts in order to make sure that your computerized system is set up and working properly. Firstly, it's very important that you classify your accounts correctly so that the financial statements are correct. For example, if you take an asset such as equipment and by accident when setting up your um, chart of accounts, you classify your equipment as an expense. This means that your statement of income will actually include that equipment cost as the expense and therefore your profit will be greatly understated. Obviously, it should only be depreciation that is treated as a, an expense and the equipment itself should be shown as an asset, in other words, capital expenditure rather than revenue revenue expenditure. When we use computerized packages, it means that we've got more time available for meaningful decision making. Remember that the point of accounting isn't just to keep facts and figures locked away in a book, but actually is to provide information so that you're able to use it to make meaningful decisions. And um, using computerized packages and different software, uh, software packages means that you are actually able to have more time in order to do this. Examples of how a, a, a computerized or different software packages can help would be in bank reconciliation where manually you would need to, apart from just ticking things off, you would need to go and then recalculate all the time and check whether or not your bank account does actually match your bank statement. When you are using a computerized package, generally you do still need to do the comparisons manually, although these days it is becoming more possible to even download your bank statements electronically and have your system do the comparison. However, um, the calculations are all done much more easily for you and you just need to be aware of how to treat the transactions that are not ticked off and um, are not as they should be. Software packages certainly make managing debtors much, much easier. And this is a vitally important role um, that is played here because if you don't manage your debtors correctly, your cash flow will be in jeopardy. Remember that you need to be able to get the money out of the debtors or your receivables if you um, sell on credit. And if you happily sell on credit and you don't bother to follow up, you won't have the cash available to go and buy the inventory that you need, nor to pay your suppliers as you need to. So for this purpose, um, software packages are wonderful for generating an age analysis all on its own. This means that the computer can actually tell you um, how long each data has um, owed you money for and how much they owe you and when it was originally from. This helps you to understand who you need to follow up with and where you need to make telephone calls or send personal emails or maybe even get the lawyers involved if you need to.
It'll also help you to send out statements timelessly at the end of each month because the computer can generate these statements at the press of a button and email them out rather than having to be done manually. Value added tax is also something that can be quite problematic and rather cumbersome to deal with when you are working manually. It's much easier to let a software package calculate your VAT for you, although you might decide to do certain calculations as a double check because it's very important obviously to get your VAT correct. Your software packages will very often also be able to generate VAT reports so that your VAT returns are much easier to complete. And auditing is very important, obviously, to check that your systems are working correctly um, and your controls that are in place are actually efficient. Generally, your software packages will be able to provide an audit trail that should be relatively easy to follow. In other words, to see where each amount came from, in other words, what transactions went into calculating that amount, and where it follows on to. Very often, this can also just be done at the click of a button. In addition, reports can be generated in order to track how users have been using the system and what activity they have been doing. So you can generally see where somebody is maybe working in an account that they should not have been working in. You can follow up on this and go and ask them about it. So the transition to a computerized system is obviously going to be very beneficial for any business, um, but it's very important that when you make this change, you maintain the integrity of the records throughout the change. In other words, making sure that you don't make any bad mistakes along the way so that the records afterwards are just as trustworthy as before. In order to achieve this, Firstly, your opening balances that you transfer from your manual system to start the software package going needs to be checked by a number of people because if only one person does it, it's very possible that they might make a mistake and that would mean that your new accounting records would be wrong. It's also a good idea to sometimes operate both systems together for a short period of time in order to check the results. Hopefully you know that your previous system is trustworthy and you can then use those results to see if the new results that are being generated by your new system are actually correct or perhaps if there's a problem in the way that it has been set up.